computers over here. And this, yeah, so you can you see the, I'm, you know, I'm just sitting over here looking at the moon, looking for aliens and cheese and stuff. Um, <laughs> There's a flag up there, too. 42 in Pocatello. There's also a family up there. I'll explain that story later. Uh, winds out of the west at about six miles an hour. One of the astronauts left a Ziploc bag with a portrait of his family on the moon. Did you know that? So there's an entire family sitting up on the moon somewhere in a Ziploc bag. Eight mile an hour breezes right now. This is a, thanks for telling me that the, the computer was stuck. No, it was my brain that was stuck. Uh, winds are, I'm down about the Powerball. I'm just, I'm not happy. Uh, winds are going to be uh, contributing to a little bit of a, a warm-up for a lot of folks, but this is a frosty area. It's a frost advisory. It's in effect. It went in last night after I went to bed. You woke up to it this morning. It was posted on the website. First thing, if you go to localnews8.com, click on the weather page. I've already posted the forecast and everything. You can see it. Click, click, click. 16-mile-an-hour gust into Dubois, 10-mile-an-hour gust into Arco. And we're going to see uh, some more of that in the afternoon, 10 to 15 miles an hour. This low becomes a bit of a wobbler. Uh, and it doesn't go anywhere. So it becomes almost a stationary, but it just kind of retreats that neighbor that just keeps coming back for more, uh, you know, leftovers. And it, and it won't leave. It's going to be here Friday, Saturday, and on into Sunday. Look at this plume of cold air with the jet stream that takes a pretty big dive with this cold air into the south and the west. So we'll have that to contend with. The best chances of storms are going to be on into Sunday. We double up almost on the chances for uh, any kind of storminess on into the back end of the weekend and continue them uh, with lingering showers, delayed showers on into Monday. So fire weather advisories down toward the four corners. There'll be lots of wind associated with this, especially with that jet stream drop. The cool down kicks in again after we take a couple of days to warm back up from the mid 60s today. So I've got a rainy, chilly weekend established for us. A lot of these mountain showers. I don't think they're going to affect Friday night football as much as they will maybe some Saturday activities. But Sunday morning, we start with some of that cold rain, and there may be the possibility of some mountain snows that will be up there as uh, well into the higher elevations. And we've already seen some of that. Now, the winds for the afternoon, your hometown, 5, 10 miles an hour, with the highlighted areas, the greatest potential for gust. And you'll need to strap down all of those autumnal decorations. I would just wait because it's going to be wet on Sunday. Frost advisory through 9 a.m this morning there for the northwestern lip of the desert. It'll be 35 in Arco tonight, 30 in Island Park. We'll be toward freezing for a lot of the eastern counties into western Wyoming. But today, bright, nice fall-like weather. Good day to get that hoodie out. Bring the hoodie with the goodies. 69 in Malad. I got a new hoodie yesterday. I got a new sweatshirt yesterday. Yeah, nice. I know. Isn't that cool? It's yeah. a brand new Idaho Falls uh, logo. 53 in Old Faithful's backyard. It'll be 64 in St. Anthony, 64 in Rexburg, and mid 30s for the evening hours. So we're getting down in these chilly temperatures. It's only going to be 60 degrees today in Stanley. Look at this 20. 20 tonight. It will be 63 in Idaho Falls, 62 in Rigby, the home of television where we invite Jimmy Kimmel, who will have a talk show back on the air on this channel beginning next week because he's back to work after COVID. Uh, we invite you to come by, be on the show. Come to Rigby with me, Jimmy. We invented television. We're the reason you have food <laughs> and not just an Egg McMuffin nailed to the wall of a studio, which there's a story behind that. If you go to my YouTube page, uh, it will be, hi Molly, 38 for the overnight low, 67 Aberdeen, 64 in Pocatello. And then we launch into the 50s for highs on into Monday. Check this out. 62, 65, 69, then whoop, there it is. Sunday, rain, cold air, and chill conditions. and makes you feel like, you know, it's fall finally. But it's going to be wet. Now, I'm going to talk about the leaves coming up here in just a little bit because you're going to want to get in the car and drive Grandma around and see some of that. And I'll tell you when the best time to do it is so you don't miss anything. But surely this wet weather is not going to make that drive pleasant. So I'll come back in the next hour, show you some maps on that, and tell you about this little bit of a kick in the breeze breezes that we're going to get here today and into tomorrow. The warm-up comes back, then we warm up and storm up on into the weekend.